your homeboy Picasso here. Welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining in. Today, guys, welcome to a uh, long overdue episode of uh, Android theming like a true boss. This is going to be episode four. Okay, guys, so here we are today. And of course, you know, we're all about theming Android and the best apps for customizing your Android experience, your overall look theme and just feel of your Android device. Today, as you see here, this is my uh, Nexus 9. Okay, you know my favorite tablet. I love this tablet. Okay, so we're actually going to be working on this today. Let's get rid of that. So now, what we're going to be doing is looking at a great app that's going to... Basically, this app, um, I did a recent review on it. Links to the description for that or in the cards uh, somewhere up here. Here, I think you can tap this little thing that's up here if you see this um, if I edit this video correctly you can tap that and it will show you the um, the review on KLWP which is custom live wallpaper app and in that video I explained that custom live wallpaper app basically combines multi picture live wallpaper with super widget it's awesome and it's just a wallpaper it's beautiful it's beautiful so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into that let's go and do this this is the application. Now this application is currently made for phones. So for custom live wallpaper, you want to go ahead. Now you want to go ahead and load preset. Now initially when you hit load preset, you are gonna come up with some uh you know some already templates that have already been in there. Like this is already in there, this is already in there. Some of these are already in there. You can go in the Play Store and then you can download some more like these. They're very beautiful, they're very uh unique. And keep in mind that these are wallpaper. Uh, this one just to give you guys a little uh clue of it of what you can actually do with this. So we're gonna let this load up. And again, it, it, it just runs perfect on phones. Um, let's see here. Okay. So, this is going to be the main page. This is a three-page setup, which you have in this little icon over here. It tells you that this is page two of three. Okay. So, this is the first page here. Now, tapping on this message, you can see a little bit of overlapping right here. You can see overlapping, and that's because it's made for a phone right not really the tablet all that can be fixed because just like super widget you can pinpoint on that uh, specific aspect so it might be the weather and then you can just lower so the swiping weather. to the left is going to give you that animation you see that's very beautiful it brings up a music page it's very beautiful it brings up a music page and of course swiping to the right gives you back the home screen swiping again to the right basically brings up a sort of map um, there's some you know the addresses there and stuff like that and little information here but again it's not really optimized for a tablet so keep that in mind um, as you see this little music uh, um, uh, uh, animation there the music the play button okay turning into the message button that's all done with KLWP. Uh, as far as I'm aware, because this is one of its uh, pre, uh, sorry, one of its uh, themes. So just like in Super Widget, you have a lot of artists uh, and creators going out there and creating their uh, widgets. This the same that you have here, okay, where you're so able. Let's to go ahead and start well. uh, new, and let's jump right into this. All right. So let's go to basically you just hit the menu over here. A load preset again like you're going to load a preset this is where you're going to actually add one at the bottom here in the bottom right corner you see that little plus sign you're going to go ahead and tap that and then you get this little menu right here where it says new play store or import we're going to go ahead and hit new okay and there we go this is the template let's go ahead and zoom in close so you guys can see what we're dealing with so this is the template for a new uh, custom live wallpaper keep in mind it is a live wallpaper you are able to have put in um, uh, hotspots, wallpapers, uh, some sort of widget things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it, so don't worry. So let's see here. Now, um, first off the bat, if you see right here where the stylus is, this is two of three. Okay, so I have three pages on my home screen. Okay, and swiping across, it's going to change to one of three. Swiping across again two of three again three of three so we are able to set up three page setup here you can change that if you want by tapping on it sorry tapping on it and then you get the screen count and it goes all the way up to nine so you are able to have nine home screens you're not able to have one 
so you can have anywhere from two home screens to nine I'm going to stick with three okay hit OK there we go and I'm gonna go back to one now we have the zoom tool okay so anything we collect anything we uh, uh, select it will be zoomed in so that's a very neat feature that I think Zuper widget should um, or should have had which would have enhanced it uh, definitely so we're gonna go ahead and start at the bottom here we are on items we're gonna go ahead and hit add and then this looks very familiar to Zuper widget of course two different things I do compare it to Zuper widget because uh, uh, it's the main application that it can be compared to to give you some idea of what the application actually can do Okay, so there's component, where you basically to add a pre-built uh, reusable component like signal indicators, battery icons, or you can create your own. We have text, of course. It allows you to enter any text. You can either choose from the list of examples or create your own string using a lot of variable, uh, sorry, available functions. Shapes, of course, rectangles, circles, etc., fill them with colors, gradients, more. Images, progress, which is create progress bars, different styles, shapes, and colors, overlap groups, container of other objects that supports transformations, and other allows item grouping and supports gravity. So that kind of sounds like, um, I want to say, you know, well, overlapping groups, so items basically overlapping, and also animations so that sounds cool we're gonna look at that of course because don't know what it is but um, here we go stack group a container of other objects that allows items to be stacked horizontally and vertically okay so that sounds like it might have been that that wallpaper I showed you where swiping to the first page brought up the music player that's kinda sounds like what that might be not sure but we're gonna take a look at it right now we're gonna go ahead and start with the basic we're gonna start with image Okay, uh, actually, let's go to background first. Background, the solid color. We're going to keep it as a solid color. We're going to change the color to black. So the background is going to be completely black. All right. Then we're going to swipe over back to item. Here's the image that we uh, chose, which is right here. And if we go ahead and click the zoom, see, it's going to zoom in on that image. But we're going to zoom out because I want to spread out the image. So let's go and pick an image. Okay, we're going to go to Quick Pick. You know, that's what I use. Uh, you can go to whichever one you want to use. I'm going to go to Wallpaper. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick two wallpapers. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to use... Anytime I'm doing something like that, the most hardest part of creating any theme or wallpaper or anything is actually choosing the image. That is the hardest part to me. Um, let's go ahead with, uh, you guys saw the Brian thing that I did. Let's go ahead with Dream Big, okay? And then you're able to grab onto, the best thing to do, or easiest thing to do, is just grab onto width at the bottom here and just resize it as far as you want. Of course, it only goes up to a certain uh, uh, area. So there we go. It, it's maxed at 720, okay? So now if you hit the zoom, it's going to be zoomed okay so if anything you select that's what's gonna happen if you go back nothing selected so there's no need for any zoom this is always a good way to kinda edit what you're working on and if you need to see the full page you can just go ahead and zoom out now just to get a look at the wallpaper we're gonna go ahead and save it and it's gonna ask you to set as wallpaper customers currently not set as your live wallpaper do you wanna set it now I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and here is what we just created right now and I'm going to let me zoom out a little bit I'm going to hit select or set wallpaper. Sorry. Go home. Boom. There's a, wa a wallpaper. Now, of course, it's not moving, okay? Because it's set as just the one page for our wallpaper. So, very simple to get back in it. Let's go ahead and just hold on to on the screen, hit wallpaper, live wallpapers. There's custom, okay? Hit custom. There we go. We're back in. Hit the settings at the bottom there. Here we are. Now, if we swipe, we are on, let's see, we're on one of three. So if we swipe two of three, if we swipe three of three, nothing's happening. And I think that's actually uh, my doing. I want to see, let's go into image, position, animation. Allow module to react to events like scrolling. Okay, so here we go. So now, you have to, let's see, let's go back. So we have the items, let's select it, so it's zoomed. Okay, let's actually zoom out for this. We're on page one of three. 
okay so now we're gonna go over to animation which is right here tap on animation so this is where you get to add whatever animation you want to do with scrolling since it's three pages we do want the wallpaper to change so we're gonna go ahead and hit add an animation now it says animate is disabled click on disabled click on react on we're gonna click on background scroll now on background scroll it should scroll there we go okay so what we want to do actually and I'm thinking, this kind of looks cool, and then when you scroll over, maybe something else comes up or something like that for 2 and 3. So let's actually keep it like this. So now, when we scroll to page 1, okay, and I'm going to set my home page to number 2. So when you scroll to 1, we want something else to happen. So we're actually going to leave this like that. So let's go back. What we're going to do now is we're going to add another image, okay? And let's go ahead and add the second image. Let's pick the bitmap. And it says dream big. So let's try, well, if I have any wallpaper that can uh, correspond to something like that. So let's dream big. Um, let's see. What do we have that can kind of complement that a little bit? And you know what? Let's just go with music right there. Just right off the bat. So let's do this. Let's bring that to the 720 as well. So you see, now... Okay, the scrolling is not scrolling. Uh, animate. Okay, let's add the animation here as well. Let's give the same thing, the background scroll. Okay. So, not quite getting it as yet. Background, scroll, the bitmap. What happened to our first bitmap? I think we just changed, but we did add. We add, added a different bitmap. Maybe we should have done it in layers. Let's, actually, let's, let's remove the second one. Okay, so the first one is still there. Okay. So that's still there. Uh, let's go ahead. That's two of three. That's one of three. Okay, there we go. So we have that. Now, I think if I go like that, no, because that's preview locked. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go to layer. Now, what does the layer? So that's scaling, so we can scale it. Okay, so we have that. All right, so we have that where you can scale. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, okay, so I think it's saved. Let's go back. Let's set the wallpaper. Let's make sure that we can scroll. And we can scroll. Excellent. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to make page two. There we go. So now we are on our home page. Here we have that. And if we scroll, it's going to be like that. And if we scroll, it's going to be like that. So the idea that I'm having is that when we scroll to the left and the right, or page one and page three, because it's page two, so page one and page three, what I want to do is have, you know, something animate come up and kind of block this side of it, but of course go over when we go back to this page and likewise on that. So we have the wallpaper set up, we have the animation set up, it's just to get in there and figure that out. Um, let's take a look. These videos, uh, these videos running on KLWP, it's not going to be too long, so we do want to figure this out. Um, let's see here. So we have that image, okay? This is where you add items. So I'm going to add another item, but actually let's go to page one, okay? Let's add another item. Now, is it overlap group? Let's see what this is. Overlap group item this container is empty you can add a new object let's go ahead and add the image in the overlap group and let's see uh, if this is where we actually need to do with the overlap group so let's go ahead and try this all right let us see bring a quick pick and let's go back to music because let's see okay all right okay bingo so let's try swiping no see the swipe okay because it it is not moving so position and touch no 
uh, let's see, uh, animation. Okay, so basically the same thing we're trying, but we're trying it using overlapped group. And I, I think this should, no, because you see it did the same thing. So what we're going to do, uh, I think to fix this is to actually just go to position right here. Sorry if you guys can see that. And then what you want is over. So let's go ahead and bring this over all the way, all the way to about there. And then I think okay 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 because this is the first so this should not be here it should be like that and then when we scroll that's going to be the problem now we want it to center and to stay we want it to anchor on page one and that is what we're gonna have to figure out how to do okay uh, let's see here so this is page one want it to stick on page one here we go anchor to the hmm center left I'm not sure if okay this is page two so for page two we want it over we're gonna have to here. do a little bit more work with the overlapping group but we do have our basic wallpaper setup we have the animation set up for the at least the basic page um, we're going to figure out how to get the others in there as well we're gonna save that for episode 5 of Android theme like a true boss so hope you guys enjoyed this little video it's not as quick as I want it to be but you guys know from all my videos that I'm very in-depth I like to go in there and show you guys exactly what to do and again you know the motto is we learn teach and entertain so we're also learning the application with you guys again check out my initial review of KLWP right here. I think this is where the little thing is going to be. Just tap right there and you'll be able to check out my initial review or link will also be down in the description. The link to the application will also be in the description. I'm your humble host Picasso. Leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. See you in the next episode of Android Theme Like a True Boss. I'm out. See you in the next one. Peace.